Kevin or Brick Ninja, and today we're going to talk about the possibility of official LEGO Wheel of Time sets. I am so excited. Uh, most of you know that I am a huge Wheel of Time fan. You can see the book series behind me. There are 14 books in a prequel. I went through with a couple of friends of mine and we did a ton of builds based off of the first main book, The Eye of the World. Uh, I've got links to those builds down below, but uh, we went through and we told the story of the Eye of the World with Lego builds, and then we released them as Amazon's show was airing, and I never thought that we might be getting official Wheel of Time sets. But before we dive into that, a couple of things. One, I have a giveaway that may be happening, uh, all the details at the end of this video, and I also have instructions available for this unofficial LEGO Wheel of Time set. Um, you can purchase the instructions. Link is in the description down below. But this is the Aes Sedai prison carriage uh, that shows up towards the middle of the season. Um, and it's based off of how it looks in the show uh, with some modifications to make it more accurate to the description in the book. Uh, but anyways, yes, you can purchase those instructions. But now let's get back to the details at hand. A uh, possibility of official LEGO Wheel of Time sets. I am so excited. Okay, so where did this rumor come from? What's it based off of? And am I crazy? Uh, the answer to that last one is yes. But what happened was the official Wheel of Time account posted this image and then very promptly deleted it. So there are a few options. Uh, one is that it had nothing to do with anything and they just completely posted the wrong image. I find that very unlikely. Uh, other possibility is that it was supposed to be sent to a different Amazon employee and is not Wheel of Time related and the Wheel of Time account person posted it without checking or verifying anything. I find that also quite unlikely, but possible. The third option, which I think is the most likely, is that they were trying to schedule a post and have it ready to auto post in the future, and they accidentally pushed the button to publish it now rather than to post it in the future. Um, We've actually seen them do this before. Uh, they did that with the announcement for season two, or the starting of the filming of season two, or the script title, or something. Uh, they accidentally posted it, deleted it, like seconds later. Uh, someone had already gotten a screenshot of it, and uh, then a day or two later, they officially posted it again. And this post, all it does is it basically talks about or announces LegoCon happening on June 18th. So why I believe this means official Lego sets is because there's no reason for the Wheel of Time account to talk about LegoCon unless if they're going to have an event or a panel that relates to Wheel of Time at LegoCon. This also is pretty much exactly how the official Avatar account hinted at or started teasing that we might be getting, or that we, yeah, might, will, whatever, uh, be getting sets based off of James Cameron's Avatar movies. So they posted a very similar thing, and then I think Lego came back and said something, and then Avatar came back and was like, oh, have you ever been to Pandora? And stuff like that there, and it's pretty clear that they were teasing that we're going to get Avatar sets. Uh, we've had rumors of getting Avatar sets for months now. I've seen images of the new mold for the head that has the ears coming off. I've seen images of the new hair piece. Um, so it's definitely happening, uh, but we haven't got an official announcement. So I believe the Wheel of Time account was basically doing the same thing. They're like, hey, LegoCon, hint, hint, Lego sets. Um, but that they accidentally posted it too early and tried to delete it quick enough so no one would notice, but Wheel of Time fans are crazy, and they have got everything down. So, screenshot was taken, and the word's out. So, what would we be getting? That is a good question. 
So while Wheel of Time is a massively popular fantasy book series, sold millions and millions of copies, it is not an enormous franchise all across the board. It is not like Star Wars or Marvel or uh, Indiana Jones. Um, it just isn't that well known. Um, it is very well known in its appropriate circles and its knowledge base is massively expanding with the show, with the possibilities of additional movies, uh, all of that type of stuff. But I believe be based off of it not being as huge of a s franchise and the subject material, uh, Wheel of Time is a relatively adult oriented series. Um, it's not as intense as George R. R. Martin's Song of Ice and Fire, also known as Game of Thrones, uh, but it's definitely bloodier and more intense than Lord of the Rings. Um, so it's kind of between, between the target audience and the fact that it's not quite as well-known franchise, I would say that it's most likely that we'd be getting one very slim chance of two sets and that they would be in Lego's 18 plus theme. Um, I think of things like the Horizon Forbidden West set that we got recently. I think of the Stranger Things set. That's not an 18 plus set. That's before the 18 plus existed. Uh, if that came out now, it would be an 18 plus set. You know, I love Stranger Things, but it's not really a show focused for kids. Um, and I see Wheel of Time similarly not focused for kids, and I really think they're going to do one set that's going to be super iconic, that can kind of summarize or encapsulate the concept of the Wheel of Time. Now, there's always the possibility that more stuff comes out of it, um, and yes, we could get an entire line of sets, and I would absolutely love that, but I find that very unlikely. I'm thinking one set, and I've got two ideas as to what that set could be. I could be wrong, could be something else. Uh, my first guess would be the White Tower of Tarvalin. This is a super iconic location throughout the books. They are there a lot. Uh, the books mostly jump around to a whole bunch of different stuff, always going to new locations, occasionally they'll go back, but the White Tower is either talked about or in every single book. It's very, very important. So I could see that very likely being it. Uh, they came up with a really cool, nice-looking design for the show. I could see them doing part of the tower grounds, the tower itself, and then you flip it around to the other side, and you could have the inside and have, like, the hull of the tower, and you could have some figures. I would love for them to have the entire core cast for figures, but that's five, six, seven, eight, and that's nine. Um, that's kind of a lot of figures to have in one set. Um, also, if you're going to do the White Tower, you pretty much have to have uh, Swan Sanche, the Amarlin seat. So then you're up to at least 10 figures. And, I mean, it's possible, uh, but for something like this, I just kind of don't see them doing all of that, which is disappointing. But, White Tower. That's my number one guess, White Tower of Tarvalin. Uh, they could potentially do the whole island of Tarvalin and, you know, do a whole bunch of micro-scale buildings, make it about that big, and then scale down the White Tower. Uh, but I think it's more likely that they would just do the tower by itself. Um, if they do the White Tower, I would guess it would be between $200 and $300. My other guess for a set would be the Waygate. Um, this is something that is fairly prominent in the first few books, and they really kind of pushed it as an item or a form of advertisement for the show. Um, it was on their first poster. Uh, it was on the um, new version of the book. Uh, they had uh, replica waygates at their red carpet event in London. Uh, you would enter through the waygate that had the uh, towers on the side, and you walk through that for the red carpet event. Uh, we know the Waygate's going to be in Season 2. They have finished filming Season 2. They're well into post-production on that. But most likely, Season 2 isn't going to come out until early 2023, possibly spring of 2023. 
So I don't think the set is going to tie into Season 2, because if they're going to talk about it at LegoCon on June 18th, most likely it is going to be a set that's going to come out in the summer or the fall. At the absolute latest, I would think it would be January 1st, 2023, but I think most likely it's summer or fall for the set release date. And because of that, I don't think it's going to be anything based off of Season 2. Um, and I definitely 100% believe if they do a Lego set, it's going to be based off of the show. And very likely, I would also think that it would be an Amazon exclusive set. You know, you'll be able to get it through Lego, uh, but outside of Lego, just Amazon, not something that you'd see on shelves. But um, those are my two, my, my two guesses, uh, White Tower or the um, Waygate. And for the Waygate, I think it'd be really cool. Actually, kind of like the Horizon Forbidden West set. Do kind of a circular base with some of the ground around it and then do the Waygate itself and then have some figures with it. Unfortunately, for the Waygate, most likely I would think that would be like $120 tops, maybe like $80 to $120, somewhere in there. Um, and if it's going to be that price, I think you're going to be pretty much topping out at four to five or six minifigures. Um, so getting the entire core cast seems very unlikely with a set that is um, in that $80 to $120, at least in my opinion. Now, I could be wrong, and I hope I am, but I, I, think, it, I think it's kind of slim chance that we'll be able to get the entire main uh, cast in one set. Now, obviously, they could do more than one set. They could do a whole line of sets, but I think it's most likely that they will do one 18-plus display set and then maybe in the future they might look at doing some more stuff. They might look at doing the whole line. Um, and honestly, maybe they do one or two sets now. And then in six, eight months, um, as season two is gearing up, we get more sets. That would be amazing. But again, Wheel of Time is not really kid-friendly. It's not kid oriented and that's where their whole line of sets is going to be focused. Um, if it's something that will sell, but more adult focused, it's usually one or two sets, you know. Stranger Things, we got one set and then a promo item and a San Diego Comic-Con thing and those two things were nearly impossible to get. We've only gotten one set. Um, so, I don't I don't think that uh, Wheel of Time would really be getting a whole line of sets at this point. But I definitely think the opportunity is there for something in the future. Now, I mentioned earlier that uh, there is a possibility for a giveaway. So I have a replica Tarvalin Mark. And uh, I can slide it out of the case here. It's got the coin in this cardboard little placard. You can pop the coin out. Um, and it's a real metal coin stamped. Um, on the front, it's got the Omerlin seat, and then on the back, it's got the white flame of Tarvalin with the Oberus snake around, and um, I will give one of these away if and only if we get an announcement from LEGO at LEGOCon regarding Wheel of Time LEGO sets. So, how to enter for this. Uh, the deadline is going to be LegoCon, so June 18th, once LegoCon starts, contest is over. Uh, but you need to, one, subscribe to my channel, two, like this video, three, comment down below, and then I will go through and select someone at random, and if you have done all three of those things, then I will contact you and I will get your mailing address, and I will ship this out uh, for free. Now, um, if we do start getting a number of comments, I have a few more coins. So if we do start getting quite a few comments, then I will up it to two, three, four giveaways. Um, I 
maybe I'll do uh, a coin for every 25 comments or so. I don't know. I will figure that out. Um, but this will happen if we get an announcement at LegoCon. And um, again, you just have to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and make a comment down below. Comment down below what you think the set will be, uh, what you hope that they do. Um, I would be very interested in seeing what you say about that. So, as you know, I am super excited about this possibility. It is 100% completely only a possibility, uh, but I do think it's possible. I'm trying to keep my excitement level manageable. Um, but, like, 20 years ago, I had three things that I really, really wanted LEGO to make into official sets. The first one that we got was Lord of the Rings. I loved those sets. I'm so glad they did it. I wish we got more, but loved those sets. The second one that we might be getting is Wheel of Time. The third one is Final Fantasy, particularly Final Fantasy VII. So, I really don't think Final Fantasy is going to happen, but I didn't think Wheel of Time was going to happen, and honestly, I didn't think Lord of the Rings was going to happen. Um, so, I am super excited. Lego's proved me wrong once. They might be proving me wrong a second time, so fingers crossed that they prove me wrong a third time and we get some Final Fantasy sets. But uh, anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember, like, comment, subscribe for your chance to win one of the uh, Tarval and Mark coins, and I might find some other cool stuff to throw in the package or something like that. Haven't quite figured it out, but definitely one of the Wheel of Time coins. And I hope you've enjoyed this video, and until next time, Brick Ninja out.